This story is from Okayama Prefecture, Japan. Once upon a time, there was a deity known as the Year God. The Year God's job was to visit each house on New Year's Eve and distribute one year to every household. Unfortunately, the Year God was disliked by the villagers, which made him anxious and gave him stomachaches every year. In a village on the outskirts, there lived an old man and an old woman. Like the Year God, they also felt melancholic as New Year's Eve approached. However, they found solace in reminiscing about their youth. Determined to find a way to avoid receiving years from the year god. The old man and woman thought hard every day. Finally, New Year's Eve arrived. The year god reluctantly suppressed his stomachache and began preparing to distribute years to the people. He called out the names from the register and put the year tags in the bags to distribute them. Around the same time, the old man and woman sneaked out of their house. They decided to hide in a bamboo grove a short distance away while the year god was distributing years. As the year god witnessed the villagers' reluctance, his energy gradually diminished. However, he was moved by the gratitude of the elderly couple and the joy of the children. He gained some confidence seeing infants standing up thanks to the years they received. The year god, feeling down but slightly more assured, needed to give years to the old man and woman before the New Year's Eve bell tolled. He hurried to their house but found nobody there. Oh no, things took a turn for the worse. If he couldn't give the years to the old couple, the year god couldn't fulfill his duty. He became frantic, searching everywhere but couldn't find them anywhere. Taking advantage of nobody watching him, the year god simply discarded the remaining two-year tags and went back home. However, by a stroke of luck, the discarded year tags somehow ended up falling from the sky into the bamboo grove where the old man and woman were hiding. And so, even though the old man and woman had sought refuge in the bamboo grove, they ended up aging by one year. Nevertheless, they continued to live happily together, growing even closer as time went on.